Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So Amber Rose and Murder Mook. Okay. He's a rapper. Um, I think he's the one who does like the annual wrap up every year. I might be wrong. I think, or no, that's Uncle Murder. Child, I can't keep up. There's a bunch of damn murders. Uncle Murder, Murder Mook, C Murder. I can't keep up. All oh, y'all are some damn killers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, him and Amber Rose got into it. <laughs> him and Amber Rose got into it. And so she, they were on, um, what's this show? Drink Champs. So she's upset. She's there to confront him. She feels like he had no business calling her a hoe and, you know, disrespecting women and women, you know, should be free to do whatever they want with their bodies. And who is he to judge? So I thought this was a very, very interesting conversation. A lot of people talked about this online. So I want to go ahead and play you guys the video here of their conversation. Give me just a second. I got like a lot of videos I got to play. I'm not gonna be on here too long, but I'm gonna be on here long enough. So okay, here goes the video. And then StreamYard and their new practices. All right. Okay. Let me play this video for y'all. Women get on from fucking niggas, right? You said that in your freestyle. Yeah. And you want to know why. Not me. No. But you said that in your freestyle. No. What, what I said. Can we replay uh, it? Can we replay the freestyle? Well, so I, can say it. I, I can just say it. I, okay. Uh, I can just say it. But I heard what you said. I That's said, why I felt the same way. No, I said, we'll get all the views. Violence. Stupid new challenge. Whole lot of ignorant dudes on the news wilding. Chicks booked for 2000, post a new style and think about it. Having no talent, that's the new talent. I saw a chick on red carpet. I said, tell me what you do. She said, I'm pretty. Pants, click, titties, belly button too. I twerk for the gram. My videos get hella bunch of views. That's very fucking cool. But tell me what you do. It's disgusting. They say hoes women. But why? Why is it disgusting? Because you're a hater. Men are haters that women make money and go get booked for 2000 because they're fucking pretty. No, Don't I, hate I, the bitch, hate the consumer. Am I, I was wrong? Still going no. But he's saying it from an observatory. Yeah, like, and, but and you're animal. observing a bitch making money because right, so she's pretty and twerking. Wait, 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 hold on. Let hold the on, bitch twerk and make on, her fucking money. Check this out, though. Check this out. Look, am look, I tripping? Check this out. Where's the bitch now, what about the, now, what Where's about the what about when you did that? What about the girl when she did that, right? So and got the two thousand, so, right? For for three months, right? So, but then she was gonna get ten million from this company, but then seen her do that shit and said, "Nah, it's over." Why now. is that your what business? That? Why is that your business? Stay because, out of women's because, because business. Because that's hurting. No, hurting who? Herself. It ain't you. Mind your business. It's hurting herself though. But you get it? stop. Policing women's bodies. No, think about that. Stop. Listen to me. It's not about no body. It's not about policing her body. Policing women's bodies. If she wants to twerk and make two thousand dollars. So would you guys, yourself. what if you're giving her advice? What if you know she can make 10 million? She about to, right? Yeah, ain't no she, man. No, Who no, look, no, she, <laughs> no, look, look. All right, I got a question. If you knew a woman was going to make 10 million three months from then, if Who she the didn't, then knows that? If, Who knows the future? Fortune teller? You ain't people, no fucking Somebody that was going to give her the 10 million. How about that? Out. But my whole thing is, what how if you, you going to pay the, the bills for the, the past three months? She so don't you know what the fuck's going to happen. Without nothing and don't conform? Cause they know what they gonna so get later. So niggas don't just homeless. take the quick bread. You want somebody to we be homeless. We never know the quick bread. You just said you, just said you want us to care. Right? Don't want us to care. You just said you, you want us to care. You want to get Amber Rose and Murder Mook on the show. All right, let me come back on the screen, honey. 
There was a lot of anger, a lot of anger. All right, so um, I see both sides. Let me say this. And oh, shout out to the people. They said, uh, what's in Murder Mook? He's a battle rapper. So shout out to Murder Mook. I'm sorry. I get all these people with murders in their names mixed up, just like all the folks with babies in their names and littles. I get all y'all mixed up. There's too many damn, there's too many damn murders, littles, and 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 uh what's the other one? What are, murders, littles, and babies. Duh baby, baby from cash money, little baby. It's too much, too much. Pick a new name. But anyways, he's a he's a battle rapper, okay? I see where he's coming from, where he's saying, like, you know, people can be famous for anything nowadays. You know, you can literally be famous. Oh, yeah, and dolls. Oh, yeah, don't forget the dolls. Asian doll, Cuban doll, hood rat doll, uh, Turkham doll. Ew. Yeah, there's a lot of dolls out there, too. Don't forget that, okay? Um, so... I see what he's saying. You do have people who are famous for no reason, you know, who you literally like, well, what do you do? I'm just cute. I'm, I'm an Instagram model. Okay. But what, what do you do besides just, you know, Instagram modeling? You know what I mean? Like, are you ripping runways as well? Are you getting shitted on in Dubai? Like what, what all do you do? Okay. So I see what he's saying. You do have a lot of people who are famous for no reason, but what's also annoying is the hypocrisy as well, because it seemed like everybody was okay overtly sexualizing women um, and using them as a commodity, right? Because I, I didn't grow up in this era. I grew up in the 90s, okay? And I remember when the era of the video vixen, you had the Stefan, uh, Karen, Karen Stefan, uh, you had Buffy the Body, Eva Baxter, Baxter uh, Gloria Velez, shout out to her. She follows me and she's always commenting on the page. I, I've been a fan of Gloria forever. Shout out to her. So it seems as somebody who was young, who was watching these women and growing up and seeing this, like I told y'all before, it made a lot of us in the 2000s aspire and want to be video vixens and, you know, be on, because back then, if you were on television, you know, you've made it. Child, you could be at the scene of a fire like, yeah, and, and then the fire was burning and stuff, and we was all out here watching the fire. People, oh, my God, I see you on the news. Girl, you famous. That's how I was in the 90s, child. You could be on the news. The, if you were on television, people equated that with fame. People thought you was getting paid, honey. How much the news pay you? News ain't pay that person shit. But anyways. So, you know, we're all watching this and it looks so glamorous. Who didn't want to be on the damn big pipping boat in the Caribbeans in a fur uh, bikini top dancing with Jay-Z, drinking Cristal? You know what I'm saying? So it's funny that these men help to glamorize this culture, right, with video vixens and using them as props and models. Because before then, videos had storylines so if there were women in videos they they were there for a reason like think about like michael jackson's thriller video with the pretty black girl i forget her name but she's in there she's michael jackson's girlfriend you know a lot of videos back in the 80s and early early 90s there was a point for the women to be there then sometime around the late 90s the only point for them to be there was to shake their titties and you know scream da, 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 da. You know what I mean? And just dance and twerk and shake. They serve no purpose besides being sex symbols. Okay. So again, oh, Ola Ray, that was her dad. That's an old Southern name, Ola Ray. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I'm like, who the hell is Ola Ray? That's an old Southern, Southern Mississippi name. Shout out to Miss Ola Ray. Beautiful girl. This it's a very old name though, sorry. Um, <laughs> I thought somebody grabbed him and entered the chat. But anyways, um, yeah, all the rage. She was, she was the star of the Michael Jackson video, child. Yes, tip drill. Uh, thank you, uh, Keisha. Yeah, tip drill. So again, it's, it's very funny that a lot of these rappers like Nelly, Jay-Z, did it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ushered this in. Y'all glamorized this, right? Remember Tip Drill? They were swiping credit cards down people's ass cracks and shit, you know? And, and around that same time, the asses start getting bigger. And the bigger your ass was, the more attention you got. So you had girls doing a lot of like the illegal butt injections. Y'all remember Lola Love? She was this big and her ass stopped over here, okay? So you had all of this. This was all stuff 
that a lot of men in hip hop were perpetuating, okay? So while I understand what Murder Mook, the battle rapper, I get what he's trying to say, but he also has to understand where this came from. These Instagram models, okay, are the chickens coming home to roost. These are the seeds that y'all, and I'm not saying him specifically, I'm in general. These Instagram models and these girls who are twerking and using their sexuality to come up, these are the seeds that y'all planted in the 90s, okay? These are the young girls who sat there and watched the video vixens and wanted to be like that. Why? Because hip hop and the black community glorified them and treated them like they were celebrities and they were the it girls. Melissa Ford, she was gorgeous. They were on all the, remember King Magazine, Smooth Magazine? Oh, I subscribe to the magazines and I'm a woman. Everybody had the magazines. They were on the cover of Vibe. I mean, these girls were the it girls. So I'm not understanding how all of a sudden now we fast forward to 2022, almost 2023, bitch. Um, and now everybody's like, oh, I don't, I, whoa, all these people are here just famous for no reason. They're here just shaking their ass for no reason. As if this wasn't happening in the late 90s and early 2000s. I'm confused. Again, I get some of his point, but it's interesting that when these girls weren't getting paid like that, okay? Remember when it first came out, the girls had a level of respect for themselves. Melissa Ford said she wasn't getting out her damn bed unless she was cutting her several thousand dollars. The original video vixens were actually getting paid for their worth. But what ended up happening is everybody want to be a damn video vixen. So now, why am I going to pay Melissa Ford, Gloria Velez, and all these legitimate video models to $3,000 a day when you got, you know, this country bumpkin with a cute shape and a cute face? Who's willing to do it just to be on Uncut? Remember, Uncut is what fucked up the whole video vixen era because they were on Uncut literally getting naked. Remember Uncut? They be topless and shit. I was in labor when we was watching Uncut. Ooh, love it. Uncut was the shit. It would come on later and I'm being. <laughs> I was in labor. They had Uncut playing. <laughs> and you know, that's where you watch Tip Drill and all those other videos. So all the Uncut chicks literally undercut it themselves in the video vixens, right? So it's very interesting that when men weren't able to make money off these women anymore because they said, if you want to be in my video, uh, you need to do it for credit. You'll be paid in credit. Okay. Remember somebody tried to get me in one of their videos with credit. And I was like, no, 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 no. My gas tank don't understand credit. Okay. My landlord don't take credit. They take moolah. You're not speaking money. Fuck you in your video shoot. Okay. So anyhow, um, with that being said, so that is what really happened. So then what women started doing, they're already in that life. They said, well, now let me commodify myself. Let me build up my own following with a bunch of thirsty guys, okay? And if they want to send me money on OnlyFans because I'm pretty or my body's on point or just whatever, that is their business. It seems like it's an issue when a woman wants to exploit her own body. Am I saying that women should be out here exploiting their bodies? No, I'm not. But women are. And it's not my job to tell what grown what uh, tell grown folks what they can and can't do. But it's very interesting that people are so upset. But again, they wouldn't be able to exploit their bodies and shake their ass on Instagram if there weren't thirsty men watching them and sending them money and joining their OnlyFans. So again, you can't get mad when a lot of y'all perpetuate this. On top of that, let's keep it real. Please show me the music videos where you see a bunch of classy women, you know, women who are in college, who carry themselves well, who know how to dress, you know, demure, you know, you can be sexy, but still be demure. You can show a little bit of skin, but not show it all. Where are those music videos? Because I don't see those. Then again, I don't really watch a lot of music videos because they don't be talking about shit. OK, so that's the thing. Y'all are not even hiring girls who fit that aesthetic. 
when I look at most men's followers, and this is not just celebrity men, but even regular guys, you know, I got cousins and them and shit like that. When I go through their follower list, they're not following a bunch of educated women who are handling their business and entrepreneurs. They're following all the damn video vixens of the 90s and all the damn Instagram models of now. So y'all not even following the, the so-called good women. Like, please stop with the hypocrisy, okay? When you ask most men, what are your fantasy? They're not saying, <laughs> they're not saying that the school teacher, the hardworking entrepreneur. They're saying, you know, the 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 sexy, I don't know, y'all write the names, chat. I can't keep up with all the new video vixens and new Instagram models. But they're saying Instagram models and celebrities that are dressed very, very scantily clad. They're not saying Ola Ray. <laughs> They're not doing that, okay? So I find that very interesting. Now, with that being said, let me also say this. Yes, thank you, Ari, Jada Chivas. See, I be forgetting all these new girls, OnlyFans models, Winter Blanco. Okay, keep naming the money. Okay. That's all y'all got? Okay, well. But yeah, again. All of these women, like, like, let's take Ari, for example. She shows her body off on the gram. She can't walk without twerking every two seconds. But those are the people that people follow. Y'all are not following the average person. Ruby Rose is another one. Des Dior, Chinese Kitty. Thank y'all. Dream Doll. Thank y'all, because I don't even know half these people. Selena Powell. Oh, Selena Powell was getting plenty of celebrity dick. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who's such a whore and whoring herself out, y'all couldn't stop fucking her. Um, so again, they follow all these girls and they make them popular because the men are following them first. And when women see that men are following them, then women want to be nosy. A lot of y'all not following these girls necessarily because y'all like them. Y'all hate follow people. Y'all will follow people that y'all hate and then be mad and be typing in all caps all day. You're dressed like a slut, whore. Well, why are you following her? A lot of y'all hate follow, but a lot of y'all are following because the men are following. And y'all want to be nosy and see what the men like, okay? So, with that being said, on the other side of the argument is Amber Rose. The thing I don't respect about Amber Rose, ain't nobody following Sky Jackson because she's a video video. Y'all stop. Stop. Don't be just throwing in anybody's name. Somebody talking about Baby Fawn Sky Jackson. Like she a video vixen. <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> now, my issue with Amber Rose is this, right? Like I've always told y'all, there's different types of women. And I think that it's okay that, you know, different types of women exist. Okay? Some women want to be wives and mother, mothers and get married. And that's been their goal since they were children. And that's fine. Bravo. Other women want to turn up, fuck everything that moves, be side chicks. And that's been their goal since they were 16. Kudos to you, bitch. Enjoy. Okay. My issue with Amber Rose is that it seems like she talks a good game, right? I'm a slut. I'm a proud slut. Follow me on the slut walk. Slut, 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 slut. But she seems very triggered anytime somebody's like, well, I don't like that. Or I don't agree with that. Why do you, why does she get so angry? Like she literally came off, if you watch the video, like she wanted to kill this man. She was so upset. If you're proud in your wholeness and you're proud of being a slut, because that's what she calls herself and was even selling slut gear to young people. Why are you upset? Why are you so, and why is the vein in your neck about to explode, ma'am? Why are you dropping all types of N-words with your racially ambiguous ass? Why are you so bad, though? Like, if that's how you get down and, you know, that's you and you proud, then it should be water off a duck's back, okay? That'd be like a prostitute, you know what I'm saying, selling herself, or what y'all call them now. Y'all call them some type of politically correct world. I'm from the 90s, bitch. We call them prostitutes. Y'all be calling them sex workers and all this weird shit. Anyways, that's like a prostitute out here selling her services. And then when somebody calls her a whore, she gets mad. W what is she mad at? She knows what she's selling and, and the type of lifestyle that she's living and she's down with it. 
So I don't understand like Amber's constant anger and caping anytime somebody says something about, you know, women being famous for no reason or women being famous for being overtly sexual. That's exactly why you're famous, ma'am. You're not famous because, you know, you cure cancer or you're a great actress or a great singer. We know you for being Kanye's chick. You were that chick that was fucking with Kanye. That's why you're famous. Kanye was fucking with you because you're a pretty girl. Okay, he got you out the strip club. So I don't know. I just find it very funny when like she just goes off and she just snaps as if she came into everybody's consciousness for like the great works of Amber Rose. You came in as Kanye's chick from the strip club. It's okay, but why get that angry? That's why I, I be feeling like a lot of times these so called ba these so called baddies and you know I'm a bad bitch. They talk a good game, but. Deep down inside, when they have unplugged from social media and they don't have their fans gassing them up, they really feel away. They really do. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.